Hello everyone. It's Nerdy Bananas King Nerdy Banana Productions and it's a Kingling's review. Today I will be reviewing the movie Fault in Our Stars. So everybody liked the movie in the book. Not everyone. There are some people that didn't, which I'm happy because I didn't like it. Not just because I don't like sad movies, but just the whole thing was, it just wasn't good. I mean, the characters were predictable. I knew from somebody else told me that the guy was going to die. And when I watched it, I kind of knew he would, and, um, so there was one point in the movie where they had sex. They never showed anything good thing, but why would you want to watch if they did, which they didn't, but why would you want to watch two deathly ill children having sex? Unless you're totally sick in the mind. Anyways. You know. He. Did that. With her. Before. And then the next day. He. Tells her that he. Is going to die. So. He only did that. Because you know. That's what a guy thinks about and if if you're gonna die what why not do it before you die but anyways why would why would someone make a movie about people dying of cancer and then turn it into a love story were they really in love or were they just Pretending because they were going to die. They didn't have a chance to have a girlfriend or boyfriend. Um. So. They probably weren't even really in love. You don't pretend you're in love with someone. You just don't. Even if you're dying, you just don't. I did really like the character Gus. He was pretty adorable. But I didn't really like the girl because she was always depressed. And if you want to live, you have to think positive to live. If you're going to think negative all the time, you're going to die. So I thought... Uh, for a slight minute, I thought she was going to die before him because all this negativity just tears you apart. But the happy-go-lucky guy was the one that died. Obviously, she died later on. But what I really hated was... The suspense of when she was going up the stairs and she almost passed out. It's like, don't push yourself. Because if you push yourself, you won't get to uh, have this experience again because you'll die. So, um... Take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time if you have lung problems. Don't push yourself. Like, that's stupid. And then me and my sister got laughing our heads off because we said, what if they die while they have sex? And we were, like, laughing so hard. We were like, wouldn't that be a funny way of how that movie ends? I'm like, yep, sex and me do the ER. That'll be on TLC.
but it obviously it wouldn't be on TLC because apparently everything is real on TLC but no I don't believe that one slight bit but the whole thing was depressing if you have cancer you should not be watching it because I know it has love in it, but why would you combine terminally ill people in love together? Love is supposed to be a good thing, but death is supposed to be a bad thing. It's not. You go to a better place, apparently, when you die. But why combine those two? Why? If you're gonna die, you only have a little bit of time together on Earth, so why get together? If there is a heaven, then I guess, but if there isn't, I mean, no one really knows if there is or not. So, why combine those two? Don't watch it if you have cancer or any other death thing that can kill you because you're just going to think negative I mean sad movies make you depressed and you don't want to be depressed if you're dying or very sick because then you'll die quicker and easier watch the watch the secret the movies the secret it will tell you if you think positive you will get positive think very very positive and you will get what you want if you think negative you you're gonna get the negative of course I know you've been suffering so long you want to get rid of the suffering but why get rid of the suffering by dying why not get rid of this suffering by living by getting better so I didn't like the fault in our stars because it's just not a good message all of it it's not um, the only thing I liked about the movie was the Ed Sheeran song obviously because I have an obsession over him <laughs> so yeah that's my review on fault in our stars if you have negative comments I don't really care if you press a dislike button I really don't care that's your opinion and so what if I don't like the movie you can like the movie I'm not telling you not to I'm just saying I don't and that it's not a very good message in the movie so if you don't want to take my advice that's fine make yourself depressed that's fine. I do it myself sometimes with sad songs. But that movie is all a bunch of emo nonsense. That's what I have to say. Emo nonsense. For the cutters. Well, I, I've done that in the past. But I don't do it very often. Some people do it all the time because they can't deal with life. Oh, it's just emo nonsense. And I'm gonna go scream. Okay, goodbye.